it's broken again. Okay, so as some of you saw before, my ZH2 had issues. Um, it had a code. So my bike had a spitting a code previously and all of the engine light comes on, TRC is off, half power, all this information on the screen. Speedometer shows zero. So if you watch my previous video, I get the bike. Um, we clear the code on the bike and it was the speedometer sensor A and B. Since then, I've had this problem happen a couple times. Now, when you get on the bike and you start the bike up and you start riding around um, and you notice the speedometer is zero, I'm talking like you turn it on and you start going, it's zero. Stop, I turn the bike off, I let it kind of reset. I put it in neutral, rock it back and forth, put it in first gear, pull the clutch in with the bike off, rock it back and forth, turn the key off and I leave it alone. Wait a few minutes. Okay, maybe a minute. I wait a minute. I turn it back on and I try again. And I've noticed that I keep, when I do that, it the speedometer just starts working the next time you, you leave out of first gear. So I've seen it a couple times. You start to ride and the speedometer is zero. I pull over, I do my little situation. I just explain to you that I do. And then it's fine. Um, today I was riding, just got gas with my buddy. And I hopped on. I didn't look at my speedometer. And we're just going through town. I wasn't really paying attention. They are going slow through town. Uh, I go over this bridge. The next thing I know, it's at zero. And I'm like, oh, no. So I got to pull over somewhere to stop. Uh, I did not pull over in time. I went like maybe half a mile. And then the engine check engine light came on. And it's doing all the same codes as the previous video that you guys watched. So today, though, I have a new scanner. Um... My last time I had my buddy Austin come scan this and he fixed it. So this time I have a new scanner. So here's my new scanner. Um, and this one also came with another Kawasaki OBD to six pin. I ordered it from these guys and this is supposed to work. This is supposed to clear the code. Okay. Yes, I can clear the code every time or I can do my little trick to get it to the speedometer to work. But my question is, why is this happening? When I start the bike up, what is it doing that it's triggering that it's not letting the speedometer work? And it, only, it doesn't happen every time. It happens like every, I don't know, maybe like seventh time or fifth time or something. When I'm, you know, stopping to go and turn the bike off, go somewhere, turn the bike on. It's like every fifth time. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong when I start the bike. I'm starting in neutral. Um, I don't have any. I've read that some people say that if you have your hand on the throttle and giving it some input, that can cause the code. I'm not doing that. I start it up and I leave it be and take off. This time I just forgot to pull over and do my little my little skit to get it to go away. So I'm gonna try clearing the code. Um, curious if anybody has the actual solution to this. Is it just somebody think it's a bad sensor? I don't think it's a bad sensor because why would I be doing it with front both both speedometer sensors? It's weird. It's something to do when I start the bike up. It just doesn't, something's wrong there. So I don't know if anybody knows anything, send help. I mean, I can clear the code, um, but now I'm realizing that if I don't look at the speedometer, maybe I just need to bring the OBD thing with me everywhere. I mean, that's kind of a pain. Um, I looked on the blogs and there's really not a lot of information um, to help out with the situation. So let's see if this clears it this time. All right. New scanner, got another six pin, just a uh, six pin to OBD. This one came with it, so I figured may as well have two, especially since I might have to bring my OBD with me everywhere. Let's see if this fixes it. So you pop this, conveniently Kawasaki put this little pin right here, which is awesome, uh, easy access. If I had to take the gas tank off or something every time, that would be terrible. Anyways. They were just predicting that this was going to happen. <laughs> All right, let's plug this in, see what the deal is. Go ahead and turn the bike on. This thing powers right up. Press enter. Diagnostics. Scanning. Read codes.
Vehicle speed sensor A, vehicle speed sensor B. Same thing again, I figured. Oh, and it's got the, I don't know what these P numbers are up top. Interesting, okay. So, let's just erase them. Well, maybe that works. Alright, so OBD scanner works. Um, clearing the codes again this time. Same codes. I'm just curious why this is happening. I mean, it's not a huge deal. Um, I had an appointment to go to the dealer today, actually. It was two weeks out to get my bike into the dealer. Scheduled two weeks. Fixed, cleared the code. Kept riding. been riding the last two weeks. Today, of course, this happens again, but I cleared the code. So I think it's just a glitch. If, if the ECU can have a glitch, something's reading weird somewhere when I started up. Um, any tips and tricks would be helpful. Um, I don't know. I need the answers in the comment section. So whoever has the answer to this problem, just tell me. Because it, you know, it's not fun to like pull over and <laughs> rock your bike back and forth. Looks kind of awkward, like on the side. I literally did it on the side of the highway. You know, but I knew that if I kept going, the, the engine light would come on. And then the problem with that is there's traction control turns off. You can't use your cruise control. Um, and then it, it shows zero. So I don't know how fast I'm going. I, I can just pace other cars. That's fine. But um, just that I don't know if the ABS is off. I don't know what it's doing there. But the traction control, the corning traction control, all that stuff is turned off. And I just don't want it. Uh, to do something weird. I don't know if it would do something weird, but it's finicky electronics. So anyways, put the answer in the comments. Help me solve this problem once and for all. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.